Hi, this is Johnny Mike Gravel coming to you from Chicago as usual. And today I've got a fun one. It's a sovereign citizen court fail. This is uh, a little more interesting. It's not traffic stuff for once. It's uh, it's more of a fraudulent conveyance <laughs> type scenario, or at least it appears to be. This video was sent to me by Vince, not his real name. I think that's just his internet nom de guerre, but you know who you are, thank you. I'm not sure yet, but we might need to refer to the uh, elite task force for this one. Got the elite task force on standby in case things go sideways. Let's do it. Case 213468688 Lion Properties versus Nakisha Wheeler. Uh, appearances. Good morning, Your Honor. May it please the court, Eric Ladaz, P65354, on behalf of plaintiff. Good morning. And do we have uh, any occupants of 19127 Pinehurst? Yes. Uh, what's your name, sir? Emmanuel Quentin Wiley Pearson L. Um, can you turn your video on so we can see you? If this is going to be a hearing, I need to see who's arguing. I think we heard him throw an L in the end of his name there. So you know where this is headed. And now I can't even hear you because you're muted. Sir, unmute your device and turn your video on, please. And he's talking Sir, away. Sir, unmute your device and turn your, your video on, please. All right, we're gonna pass on this matter. Uh, oh. oh wait, I think he has his video. His uh, Hello. are you are you unmuted? He keeps muting and unmuting. Oh, okay, we're on. We're trying to figure out how to uh, do the video. All right, that's fine. Uh, what's your name again? Because because I have Nakisha Wheeler. Okay, I'm an occupant. Um, Emmanuel, <clears throat> excuse me, Emmanuel Quentin Wiley Pearson. But the but this is a motion to set aside default judgment and who signed the motion or who submitted the motion that says nakisha wheeler i did well then i'm trying to name. get the video no keisha wheeler i'm trying to get the video i mean yeah that's my video. Fine. that's fine if you can't get it that's fine just i just need your name miss wheeler miss wheeler you filed the motion to set aside default judgment correct yes all right make your argument I purchased this house back in December of 2020, and I wasn't understanding how I was being brought to court. Oh, wow. Uh, that, that, that is just a horrible argument. <laughs> so let's forget about the uh, language issues. Just, you know, if you brought a motion, you should say, uh, here's, the mo here's my... Here's what I want, and here's why I want it. Let, let, let me keep it simple. And uh, when you say you purchased it, can you, do you have a deed to the house? Yes. All of my paperwork was sent in to the, um, to the city because, you know, we had to do everything by mail. I sent everything in to the um, city. The house is registered in my name. The deed is in my name. Okay. Well, you didn't show up at the last hearing, and... Uh, I'm not sure why you didn't show up. And the motion to set aside default judgment does require good cause for not showing up in a meritorious defense. So I, uh, the court has heard what is arguably uh, strongly a meritorious defense. Why didn't you show up? I didn't receive anything to show up to court for. Um, when I received the paper, it said somebody named I don't know if they were saying they served somebody in the kitchen or their last name was Kitchener. Kitchen. Um, I never. We, we find out later, but I just enjoyed that bit. <laughs> if they served somebody in the kitchen or the name, the guy's name is Kitchen. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's also good. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe or the dogs get it. I never received anything in the mail. I haven't received anything, um, none of my papers back from the city or anything. I'm not for sure. Okay, this is just so hard to put up with. Any attorney on the planet would just say, Judge, I didn't have notice. Next. <laughs> That's it. That's all you got to say. I'm sure if something's going on with the mail over there, but the mail carrier stated that she has been delivering my mail, but I haven't been receiving my mail. The papers that you said you received, where did they come from? 
I got it. I got that paper because I happened to be over at the house when the mail ran that particular day. Um, so did you receive uh, documents that are labeled summons and complaint, giving you a time and date to appear in court? No, if that was the first paper, no, I didn't. I received it. Right. I received okay. the last paper um, in the mail because, like I said, I happened to be at the property during that time when the mail okay. carrier was delivering mail. I received the mail from her hand. And I also, when I received it, right, Ma'am, I, I got yes. it. I just asked you a question, and then you went on. Uh, counselor, the court still doesn't have a proof of service in the file. Was service ever effectuated? Oh, yes, Your Honor, I have a proof of service that was signed by process server Charles Kitchen on May 25th, 2021, stating that he had served um, the uh, John Anderson at 19127 Pinehurst on May 19th, 2021 at 2 p.m., which was sent into the court and received. Your, your Honor uh, reviewed it when we were in court on June 28th when Okay, this is interesting. This is what we call substitute service. So if you're serving somebody at an address, you can any adult at that address can accept service of process. And uh, it, it just it is interesting that the process server actually was named Kitchen. And this court entered a default judgment. Okay, let me look and oh, I do have it. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it does say personal service was served on John Anderson uh, on May 19, 2021. Uh, Ma'am, does a John Anderson or did a John Anderson live at your house on May 19th? No, ma'am. I don't even know no one named John Anderson. This is interesting. I don't um, particularly believe the defendant in this case. You know, she entered a default judgment and she's not going to enter a default judgment unless she has jurisdiction. She doesn't have jurisdiction unless she has proper service. So she, she reviewed that on the prior date, just like the att uh, attorney pointed out to her. And she had she had reviewed this service and thought we, we have service and and she's and the defendant's not here. I'm gonna I'm gonna enter a default judgment. All right. Um all right. In any event, um the court is going to well uh, the court is going to hear from defense uh, plaintiff's counsel. Your Honor, as you know, to set aside a default judgment, there has to be uh, an affidavit of meritorious defense and just the line saying I purchased this home in December of 2020 um, is not enough. There would have to be documentation along with that. Uh, however, Your Honor, if there is a title dispute to this property, Ms. Wheeler would have had to file a quiet title action in Wayne County Circuit Court, which would have the jurisdiction to determine title to property, not uh, the 36th District Court. And by checking the Wayne County uh, online register of actions or any uh, court cases, I do not see anything filed in the Wayne County Circuit Court by Ms. Wheeler. So this attorney uh, up in the right hand corner is the plaintiff's attorney, Eric uh, Ladas or whatever. I, I don't know how to say it. This is this is fun because he's just a competent, straightforward attorney doing his job. And this this is just a soft set running smack into reality. It's, it's beautiful. I mean, he's he's not like a tough guy about it, but he's, he's just calling out everything in the most routine, normal way that an attorney would. Well, did you check the Wayne County Register of, De of Deeds I'm, to see if I'm, there was a deed filed by I, her? I'm looking right now, Your Honor, that there does appear to be a deed granted by uh, Emanuel Wiley, who's also on the call. Well, isn't that convenient? The other guy who, who's there, in, in fact, a tenant of this place, is the one who deeded the house to her. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, there appears to be a deed granted by Mr. Wiley to Ms. Ms. Wheeler? We to Ms. Wheeler. Oh. But my clients have owned the property since 2017 and have not deeded it to anyone. That that was a skeptical oh from the judge. <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, do we have an Emmanuel Wiley? Yes, we have the attachment link. Sir, I'm sorry. Um, the Mr. Wiley, we can't hear you. Your audio is choppy. If if we can't hear you, then you're going to have to get to okay. a room where we can hear you. Can you hear me now? I can. State your name again. Mm -hmm. Now I can't. Wiley. Mr. Wiley. 
Emmanuel, Emmanuel Quentin Wiley Pearson. Mr. Wiley, your audio is choppy. It's breaking up. Okay, can you hear me now? I can. I don't know if it's going to break up, but. Okay, I'm going to step outside the vehicle. Uh, if that would be better. I don't know. Okay, can you hear me now? I can hear you. Uh, okay, so, well. Mr. Wiley, did you sell the property to Miss Wheeler? Yeah. And I have here the notice of list pendants attachment and levy that was registering the deeds on the 21st of October, which was yesterday. It was just additional security that we filed because the matters during the mailing of the deeds, there was a, a discrepancy as it was a misunderstanding as to was the deed or the list pendants even recorded. So we just went ahead. I just went ahead and um, put additional security up, uh, put a payment and performance bond to repurchase to repurchase um, the secure interest. And we have that on file, the notice of list pendants, attachment and levy. We registered that in the deeds yesterday. When did and you it's, purchase it's, the property? I had a, uh, I have a special warranty deed. So I have a um, purchase money mortgage on file registered in the deeds office. It's just- When did you it's, purchase it's, the property? When did I purchase the property? Yes. What year? Back in 2012, I have a, a purchase money mortgage. So that's a special warranty deed that um, is under the UCC. And so, my, the per yes. If none of this is making sense, it's because it's soft sit gibberish. None of it, none of it does make sense. In fact, uh, you, you'll see as this goes forward. The, the judge understands it completely, but she's not showing her hand completely yet. She's she's just uh, drawing it out to make sure before she uh, lowers the boom on them. Purchase of the property. I don't understand what that means under the UCC. Okay, when, we, when we um when I quick claim the deed to Miss Wheeler, uh, we uh, I'm I'm we, asking about when you purchased the property before Miss Wheeler got involved. Do you recall who the grantor was of the property? To you, I purchased the property by way of performance and uh, performance and payment bond that was given to Miss Wheeler. So that's how we purchased. <laughs> I purchased the property by performance and payment, and uh, filed some nonsense that that's that's not accurate or useful in any way. The property. I'm just a bond. I'm the I, um, provided the equity, the bill and equity for the purchase to uh, occur. I have no idea what you're talking about. Your Honor, for the record, do, do you I, know? Uh, yeah, the judge doesn't know what what he he's talking about, and the problem is not the judge. She she's sharp. <laughs> if if he was making sense, she would know what he's talking about. Your Honor, I'm looking at the register of deeds, and there are no deeds on file from that is where Mr. Wiley's the grantee for this property. That's what I thought. It will come from a, a list pending. By way of a list pendants, that will be an eminent domain procedure. Oh, and in the federal oh. court. And so is not. this, so you purchased the property under, uh, give me a moment. I'm trying to, to think. All right. Give me a moment. Uh, okay. Just a second. I, I'm going to take just a uh, couple seconds recess. Okay. So this is fun. Uh, he's trying to BS the judge right now and saying, I conveyed this property to her. The, the problem with that is it's, it's what we call a fraudulent conveyance. He never owned the property to convey it to anybody. So all of this is a fraud. It's probably a crime. It's certainly civil fraud. Um, but while he's doing that, the plaintiff's attorney can see that, th that they had filed something. He, in fact, reported that to the judge. But he looks up, you know, these things are all recorded. So if, you, if you're conveying a title to somebody, at some point, somebody conveyed title to you or you don't own it. <laughs> and, and it's just instantly called out uh, by the plaintiff's attorney and, and the judge is suspicious of it anyway. Okay, so uh, Mr. Is it Wilder? Uh, Wiley Pearson. Wiley. Wiley Coyote. Super genius. Mr. Wiley. So, Mr. Wiley, are you a sovereign citizen? Yes, I am. 
Oh, so that's how the property was purchased. You didn't purchase it from any mortgage company or from any private grantor. You just went in and took over the property under some theory of eminent domain, right? No, I didn't. Under the theory no, that I didn't. you have a right as a sovereign citizen, correct? Wrong. I took it over on the grounds of having a performance and payment bond. The part of the sovereign citizen only came in uh, as a counselor court to issue the attachment and levy, which was done a All few right. days ago. Got it. Motion to set aside default judgment denied <laughs> as defendant has failed to set forth good cause and a meritorious defense. Counsel, submit the order to the court no later than the uh, end of the day today. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. And Your Honor, can I say something? The motion is denied. Can I say something? You're we not the, the party to who filed the motion, so no, you cannot. Oh, okay. You're I'm simply a witness. I just wanna, I I'm, okay, I'm an occupant, and I don't know um, what exactly you mean by denying it because I didn't file the motion. But I just it, wanted to say that it means we uh, have we've motion. We sir, have motion. Sir, sir, this is Keisha Wheeler's motion, not yours. You were a witness. The court asked you questions. Um, and Can the court you tell me, me that the motion is denied? <laughs> what does that mean, Your Honor? You have to look denied up. <laughs> that you didn't get that the case is not reinstated. I, I love the judge for that. <laughs> I mean, I understand that people aren't thinking about motions all day, and I do. So, I mean, this is natural to me. But it's also not particularly, um, you know, strange language or anything. Do you know what the word denied means generally? <laughs> you brought a motion, it's denied. Can you piece that together? Oh, I, I, I just really like the way she handled it. And that a default judgment will enter against you and that you will have to uh the default judgment that indicated mm -hmm. that you needed to that you were required that you were ordered by the court to vacate the premises by august 15th 2021 or a writ would um mm -hmm. or a writ may issue still stands that judgment has not been set aside the default judgment that was entered uh by mm -hmm. this court on june 28th 2021 stands it remains in effect and okay, so all right thank you thank you honor you're welcome make sure you submit that order counselor i'll submit it momentarily all right thank you well, there you have it. That was a uh, good fun. Sovereign citizens just trying to basically, it looks like not pay rent. So uh, they're, they're both in there, it appears, living in this apartment. You know, so the, the, instead of paying rent, what they decided to do was make up fake documents and one sells the, the property to the other. Except for the, the small issue of the first one doesn't own the property to sell it. <laughs> The judge was suspicious from the get, but she uh, she wanted to make sure, so she asked a few questions. Once once she determined that uh, we're we're doing sovereign citizen stuff here, she she was having none of it. Uh, she had a uh, supposedly a motion to vacate, um, which actually is surprising she didn't vacate it, just because uh, it appears that there wasn't notice, or at least on the record, she's saying it uh, it was served on somebody I don't know, so that that makes it questionable. However, apparently under the statute, you need. Uh, you also need to provide a meritorious defense, which uh, the judges thoroughly convinced SMI they don't have once they started in with this fraudulent conveyance sovereign citizen nonsense. Here at Law Talk, we like to have fun with uh, silly stuff that happens in court and every once in a while and completely by accident, I assure you, you might learn something. Thanks for watching.